Good afternoon. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at uh, the derivatives and antiderivatives of exponential functions with bases other than e. All right, so let's talk about that. So let's start with just remember that uh, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And that one, that's a pretty cool function where it's its own derivative. But what about 10 to the x? What about 5 to the x? What about anything else to the x? What about another exponential function with a base other than e? Uh, there's tons of them out there, right? Choose a number, make it a, raise it to the x, you got an exponential function with a base other than e. Uh, so how do we find the derivative of this function? We're just going to use uh, a cool little thing here. We're going to rewrite a to the x as e to the natural log of a to the x. Okay, I'm going to remind you why we can do this. Uh, the, we're going to show you that these are the same thing. Well, e to the natural log of something is just something. Okay, really quickly, this says, what power of e gives me question mark? What power of e gives me question mark? Let's say that the power of e that gives me question mark, that's what this is the question, is some power y, right? So that the exponent that you need to get question mark uh, from e, right, e to something equals question mark, that, that power is y. Okay, we're gonna if we raise e to the y, we'll get question mark. We'll look at what we're doing over here. We're raising e to the y. We're just saying right here it's y. We're raising e to that power, so it must give us question mark, right? Yep, that's because e is the base of the exponent and the base of the log, right? Think about uh, four to the log base four of sixteen is sixteen. Just give that a thought, okay? All right. So pause it and, and give it a thought if that still is confusing at all. Um, so, if these things are the same thing, then to find the derivative of this, I can write, I would just need to find the derivative of this, right? Um, I'm going to rewrite this using the properties of logarithms, and that would be writing it like this. I wrote that as an h. It's the natural log of a. Uh, because if you have a power right here, if you take the natural log of a, or a, a logarithm of any base of a number to a power, the power can come down in front and be the uh, coefficient. So what's the derivative of this? Well, the derivative of e to some power is just e to that power. But since that power is not just x, we have to use the chain rule. So we use the chain rule multiplied by the derivative of this guy right here. What's the derivative of x times the natural log of a? Well, let's think about the natural log of a. The natural log of a is just What's the power of e that gives me a? a is just some number, right? If a were 5, then natural log of a would be the power, the exponent that you need for e to turn into a. So uh, that's just some number. What's the derivative of some number? Remember, we're doing the chain rule right now. We're trying to figure out what's the derivative of this. We're going to multiply by the derivative of whatever this is. Um, so the derivative of something times x, this could be 3, this could be 5, this could be 10. Derivative of 10x is 10. Derivative of 3x is 3. Derivative of a natural log of a times x is the natural log of a. All right. Now, remember that this part right here is the same. Let me use a different color. This part right here is the same as this guy right here. All right. And what's this guy? It's just a to the x. So we have this part is just a to the x. We rewrite it, put the x back in the exponent, the e to the natural log of something is just that, times the natural log of a. So there you go. The derivative of a to the x is equal to a to the x times the natural log of a. Uh, so that's a pretty cool little thing. Uh, so next, oh, hold on. Next, we're going to talk about What's the derivative of log base a of x? Remember that the derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 over x, right? So what's the derivative of this? Well, we're just going to kind of use our um, uh, properties of logarithms and ease to the x's, uh, that kind of stuff to, to solve this problem. Uh, well, if we want to take the derivative of this, we could take the derivative of something that is equivalent. All right? We can write the log base a of x as the natural log of x over the natural log of a. Okay, If you're not sure about that, remind yourself about the change of base formula. Look up the change of base formula. You'll realize that we could take log of any base to any number, we choose some other base, 
and take log of that base of this over the log of some other base of that. We'll choose e as our base, and now we have natural log of x over natural log of a. I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. Derivative of 1 over the natural log of a times the natural log of x. Okay. The reason I did this is because this is just a number. Remember that natural log of a is just some number from the previous uh, slide. Uh, this is just a number. So 1 over some number is just some number. This is a constant. Inside this box is just a constant. So the derivative of a constant times a function is just a constant times the derivative of the function. What's the derivative of the natural log of x? 1 over x. So 1 over x times the natural log of a. What is that? That's the derivative of log of any base of x. Um, so that's the derivative of log base a of x. So if your base is something other than e, here's where we go. Right, really close to the, the derivative of the natural log of x, 1 over x, we just have this additional natural log of a in the denominator. All right, and now we're going to talk about what's the antiderivative of a to the x. Okay? Um, so let's talk about that. Let's rewrite this as, uh, as we previously did. Uh, the antiderivative of e to the natural log of a to the x. Right, we did this in a, a previous uh, explanation, right? in the first explanation. I'm leaving a little room here because I want to use this fact. The antiderivative of e to the u du is e to the u plus c, of course. So how, you know, does this have any resemblance to that there. Let me move this down out of the way. Or what does this even mean? e to the power of some function times the derivative of that function is just e to that function plus c. Can we get this to look like that? Well, if u equals uh, the natural log of a to the x, right? We just make u the, the exponent that e is raised to. Um, then we can make that x times the natural log of a. Right? And then du will be the natural log of a, right? dx. Because uh, this is just some number, some number times x. The derivative of some number times x is that, that number. is just the coefficient. So does this look like e to the u du? Well, it would if this had a multiple of natural log of a. The natural log of a dx uh, is the derivative of natural log of a to the x. Um, yeah, because that's x natural log of a. So that, that works great, but we know from uh, substitution, u substitution, that if we include this multiple here, we've got to divide by that thing out here. So we divide by the natural log of a right there. Um, so the antiderivative of this function. Well, this is just e to the u du now. So we have the antiderivative is, of course, 1 over natural log of a, that multiple that's outside here, times e to the natural log of a to the x. What's e to the natural log of a to the x? What's e to the natural log of anything? It's just that thing. So we have a to the x over natural log of a. Okay. Um, yeah or 1 over natural log of a times a to the x. Uh, of course, this is all plus c. All right. So using uh, e and uh, the properties of logarithms and inverse properties of exponential and logarithmic functions and all this kind of cool stuff, uh, we've just found um, that we can take the derivative take the derivative of a to the x. We can take the derivative of the log base a of x, and we can take the antiderivative of a to the x dx. All right. uh, of course, this is the natural log of a times a to the x. This is 1 over x times the natural log of a. And this is 1 over the natural log of a times a to the x plus c. All right, so 
have at it. Take the derivatives of some functions that have bases other than e. Uh, that's what this is all about. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.